this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. I'm on one of the ubiquitous, most famous trail bikes ever made, the Honda Trail 90. This is a 1969 model, and uh, I hear Beach Boy songs when I see this bike. It reminds me of carefree days at the beach and fun riding to the local market. And these babies could be taken on the trail, on the street. This 69 model has a two-speed rear end, so it has eight gears, four low, four high. Very simple, you just flip this lever forward and it goes into, high, into low range. Right now it's in high range. Um, has a, a front and rear shifter, uh, hand brakes, automatic clutch, so it's any, any bozo could ride this thing. Even people who've never ridden motorcycles before. Even children. Even children, kids love these. My 12 year old daughter loves these trail 90s. This one's in uh, good running condition. It's a 69, so it's 40 years old has the original luggage rack on it. I believe this is the original saddle. Uh, original gas tank is in excellent condition. Look at the bottom of the saddle. It's, it's a little, little, uh, little dusty, but mint condition, um, as is the seat and the tank. No, no rust issues on this tank. We just did a CT200, uh, 64 model before this one, five years old than this, that um, very similar, but this is a much, much nicer bike. This, this the exhaust, original exhaust pipes in beautiful condition. I actually have the heat shield, um, we just uh, forgot to put it on. I will put it on for the photo shoot, so you'll see it with the heat shield on the, we took it off to clean the pipe, pipes and original header pipes in beautiful shape. Let me take it for a quick rip and then uh, we'll bring it back in. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, this has an ignition key on it, so if you don't want the kids to ride it when you're not home, you take it out. Just turn the key and kick her over. Fires first, first kick, first like a kitten. These things get close to 100 miles of the gallon, or between 60 and 80 miles of the gallon. It's like free transportation. Has a horn, auto automatic transmission, just click it in the gear and go. Watch this. Well, I forgot to add, this baby only has 1,400 miles, which is absolutely nothing. These, these Honda, Overhead valve, single cylinder four strokes are good for 10,000 miles easy. This one's barely broken in with 1,500 miles. The levers are in beautiful shape, the bars are straight. It doesn't look like it was ever crashed or abused. Just a fantastic bike. Ask yourself, where are you going to find a 40-year-old classic Honda trail bike like this? Enduro, mint condition, even the uh, idiot light works for neutral, so you don't take off with it and in, in, uh, start it in gear. Um, it needs a headlight bulb and a couple other small things. Uh, it's got a little patina on it. It's not perfect. It's 40 years old, but with 1,500 miles, this is absolutely a beauty worth preserving. Okay, I'd like to do a drive-by to show how this thing goes. It'll do almost 50 miles an hour. So this is a 90cc single cylinder Honda engine. Kenny, you had a ruckus with the 50cc. You rode it over about 6,000 miles in two years. You used it everywhere. And uh, the ruckus is only good for like 35, 40 miles an hour. This is a two-speed transmission. This could be used as a commuter bike. It'll do 40, 45 all day long. Let me give you a quick demo. This thing's an absolute blast to ride. And it runs like a Timex.
classic looks, great fun to ride. That was 45 miles an hour zipping by here with 230 pounds on it. So, um, just a great bike. I don't have enough good to say about these Vintage Hondas. There also is a huge hot rod market built up for these things. They have um, companies that make engines that are up to 180 cc's that'll bolt right in here and I think I'll do 70, 80 miles an hour. I've seen the kids around here with them ripping around. It's pretty incredible how fast they make them um, and they just bolt right in. It's a two bolt pattern. So uh, engines, hop up parts are available or keep it original like this. This one's got brand new tires on it. Check out the tires, Kenny. So that's the hairy nubs on them. Super smooth at 40 miles an hour. I'll put it in low range and you can rip a house off the foundation. I think I'll just crawl and tons of torque, climb right up a mountain in first gear in low range. So, great little bike. Let's uh, bring it in. We'll uh, tell you a little bit more about it. Listen to this classic Honda four stroke fur. Listen to this thing. Fur's like a kitten. The, um, even the back, the, the backlit light on the speedometer, look at the speedometer on this thing, show it to him, Kenny. What a beautiful piece, 40 year old classic. Um, you know, obviously this is a well-preserved original, it's almost 50 years old, actually 69, 79, 89, 90, 2009, yeah, it's almost 50 years old. Definitely an antique, uh, this was at a trail bike museum where it was on display and we got it, we went through it, we cleaned the gas tank out, cleaned the carburetor, cleaned the air filter, uh, got it running, put a brand new battery in it. It's got a brand new Wasa battery, um, tuned it up. It's got brand new tires on it. Chains and sprockets are in great shape. Uh, this one has a two-speed transmission. The predecessor to this one, you had to change the rear sprocket. It had a giant rear sprocket and a small rear sprocket, which is a pain in the ass to do. You had to chain, chain, change the chain, and it wasn't something you do regularly. This is what you do on the fly. This one, you just flick that lever right there when you're parked, and uh, you've got a high and low-speed training. So. Honda Trail 90, 1969, beautiful, beautiful, original survivor with no miles on it, 1,500 miles. Uh, the, the, these normally trade in the restored condition in the three to $5,000 range. This one's mostly original. Uh, I think the NADA, NADA value is right around 3,000. You can check yourself, uh, but it's a CT90. Plenty of parts available, totally bulletproof. Start first kick, first, first of kick. If you have any questions about this bike, give me a call, please. 860-454-7024. We're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. If you want to roll it back into the museum, put her on display, you should find a new home. So, good luck, baby, and honor, and God bless America.